it is six minutes past midday on Saturday the 17th of August and it is time for... Today in my boo journal. Today in my boo journal. So how are you? <laughs> so how are you? He's trying to jump the gun and do the script before I'm oh, ready yeah. and all of this rubbish. It's like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> so, um, I filled out most of this yesterday because it was quite late when I went to bed. So, and I did an evening edition, didn't I? So I did not do my weights and I'm going to go and do those in a minute. But I did do my night care. I did my mood, I showed you my steps, I did my day, I did that, so we are pretty much, uh, I'm pretty much up to date with everything, I even did a little bit of journaling, and just yeah, not much happened yesterday other than the big video which you guys have seen. Not really much happening today until later. I'm going to see my brother-in-law wrestle again. There was rain yesterday. 21 over 13, running on high, 13 low. Sunrise was at 05.55. And sunset will be at 8.22 and it's another grey day. Yeah, we're not going now. I am so fed up with grey days. I am done. I want to go out and walk in the bloody sunshine. Yeah, but it's rain. It's going to rain. I mean, if I'm out and about already, I can pretty much ignore the weather. You know, I don't, I don't mind ignoring the rain, but I'm not going to purposefully say, right, come on, let's go out in the pouring fucking rain for enjoyment. It's also really dark in here. Oh, I'll turn you know? that light. No, I don't need that light on. Wait. Um, I don't enjoy walking around in the rain. I'm not, you know. I'm not fun going out in the rain. But I do want to go out and I'm so fed up I've been stuck in this bloody house all day. I don't see anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. Mum. The person I spoke to yesterday is my son. Grey, 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 grey. A bit grey thrown in. I hate grey. Yeah, so do I. I hate it. Right, I've done my day face cream. Trouble is, it's warm. It's still quite warm, you know. As, as I said, it's, you know, 20-odd 20, 20 degrees. So if you go out, you'll overheat by whatever rain protection you tend to. I don't do umbrellas because it's too windy. So, you know, you would end up getting soaked trying to use an umbrella. So you would have to put, like, a raincoat on. And then you would overheat because it's 20 fucking degrees. It's the summer. You know? How, how do people cope in the desert areas and that when it fucking rains? Australia or... I don't want that look. Mom? Yeah, it's like, it's like a summer storm. There's, there's a huge rain, out, uh, huge winds out there blowing the trees all about you know blew my garden fence down as I showed you it's horrible weather but it's warm so I've either got to be wet and if you get wet it's not warm enough to stop you getting cold and quite frankly I don't want to be out there wet and cold in a t-shirt but it's too warm to put a bloody coat on king of sorts the king is a usually somebody slightly older than you you know like an older older man um i didn't put a card yesterday or did i you know, i've put that on the wrong day i think oh well never mind 17th yeah um hang on daryl please 
or it's it's somebody that you might feel is you know wiser smarter that kind of thing it's somebody who quite accomplished in their field or they know a lot you know um and he's got every right to you know he's, he knows what he's talking about he's done a lot of research into the subject sort of thing seems a bit standoffish you know maybe a little bit of a cold fish but he's not he just he's just clever you know and he doesn't mean to be standoffish he's there he's he's a strong strong man and listen to what he's got to say he might have something important to tell you someone older he knows his stuff listen to what he says so I've just got people messaging me a lot today. 158. Now, I got up at half seven and then I dozed again for about another half hour this morning. And I also got up at about five o'clock to go to the loo. Got a broken night last night. But I think that's because Alex had to be up early this morning because he's had to go and help set up the wrestling with everybody else and um, he's not the greatest about getting up in the morning why not so I was sort of conscious of the fact of is he awake is he moving around can I hear him because if he's not I've got to get up again and go and check to see if he's up you know so, Batman. you're Batman are you that's yeah. cool been a morning already. Today I'm not got anything on until tonight when I go and watch the OPW which is um, wow. Outcast Pro Wrestling. My brain just stopped then for a minute. So let's could you stop jumping off the chairs please? It can be my super bad. I don't care stop jumping off the chairs. Um, and I need to stick that in here somewhere. I want to put it there, but I also want to be able to flip it because Jolene gave it to me. So I might fix it down with some invisible tape so that I can, yeah, let's do that. There's my invisible tape. Because washi, I don't know if I've got any nice green washi. Let's have a look. Let's do this washi thing. Don't do green washi. Um, oh, that one's a bit pretty. Gemma sent me. That one across the top there. It's like little roses with a bit of foil in it. I would do the blue, but it, uh, blue and green aren't supposed to go together, are they? Oh, that one's quite nice, actually. Oh, let's do that one. This is one that Gemma sent me. Gemma, I hope you're right, darling. I haven't heard from you for a while. I don't know if you're still watching me. But if you are, like, get in touch, babe. Don't you just hate it when you peel it and then it sticks to itself and you can't get the corner bit back up again? And that bugs me. And, and Oh, for shield. fuck's sake. Yes, I swear in front of my four-year-old, so what? What are you doing? Cutting it because it folded and it was bugging me. Okay. And that stuck to me and it won't let go. Okay. Oh. Right, let's... Just do like a smidgen amount. Just want a pretty amount. I know you're supposed to rip it, but you know, give me a break, guys. I don't know how I feel about washy. So I'm going to put it there. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? And I'm not putting washi on the bottom bit because then I really will cover up that and I don't want to. So I'm going to put clear on that. Could you not do that with your toys, please? We're very much into crashing and smashing. And I hate it. He knows I hate it. The idea is, is to do it at about the same length on both sides. 
and then it, um, it, you'll have no overhang. There you go, so I can do a little... I should have flipped it that way. Because <sighs> now when I go like that, the right upside down. As long as you take your time... This stuff will peel. You just have to be careful. Right, so let's stick it down. So it was that way. It's going to crease if you do it too tight, okay, which is something I keep doing because I hate the washy gap, as it were. That'll do. So that's in there now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, it has to be perfect, you know? Right, I do, my slightly larger stencil has arrived, look. So I think I'm gonna have a go with this to see how it comes out, because it's a bit thinner than this one, which I'm a bit like, ooh, about. So I may well say, you know, it could do a bit a bit thicker, love. But we will see. I'll probably cut the hashtag dollar and number and that lot because you know what do I need a dollar sign for I'm English not American so yeah I'll probably cut the bottom bit off like I cut the excess off with that one that's the only trouble with these super thick thin stencils is you end up slipping sometimes there you go well, that looks all right doesn't it yeah my only it's it's just so thin I mean, this one is thin, but it's thicker than this. So, you know, this one is super, super, super thin. That is from Lily Bear Lane, if anyone's interested. I'll put a link down below. Right. Um, that took far too long, <laughs> but I love it. Look, it just looks so cute sitting there. Thank you, Jolyn. So, yeah. Um a lot more to colour in and I might be able to fit some zentangles in this if I use it for a weekly. There we go. I've got quite a bit to journal about um, and then tonight I'll be going to see Neil do some more wrestling so there'll probably be a picture or two that I'll put in about that. Um, Neil's best friend's going for the championship tonight as well so that should be quite good um there you go so yeah uh now can I do my boot journal <laughs> hey was... hey that's mine is that Iron Man that's gonna be my mask I need to write some postcards hey that's me that's you sleeping and I need to shh I need to. And that um, says, Dear Auntie Rosie. Yeah, it does. Could you stop talking over me? I'm not talking I need to. Over yeah, you me. are. Shush, please. Yeah. Goodness sake. I need to write some again. postcards. I need to do the scores. And I, I need to. I, Daryl, shut up, please. Yeah. I've done the yeah. loo and the laundry yeah. is on. When the vacuum ran downstairs. I say it, I think. <laughs> oh, I've got a list on my phone, haven't I? I wrote a list the other night when I was in the bath, I think it was. Um, there we go, right, what have I got to do? I need to cut up my OPW shirt. I bought a t shirt at the last wrestling event, but it's really tight around my neck, so I want to do that fashionable thing where you cut the neckline a bit and cut the sleeves off and I've never done this to a band shirt or anything like that. I never did anything like that I've never cut a t-shirt up and I'm shitting bricks in case I fuck it up <laughs> so yeah fingers crossed it goes all right <laughs> um all my underwear is in the wash I'm sitting here in my night shirt I don't have a clean bra to put on it's all in the wash drying and oh what a nightmare and uh, it's I dare hang it out even though now the sun has just come out it's still grey clouds, but it's windy as anything. It's just like, oh, this could be perfect laundry weather if I could guarantee it wasn't going to rain. And I can't guarantee it's not going to rain. So I don't dare fucking hang anything out there. 
Uh, anyway, right. I'm going to go and get on with the day. I want to do something. Oh, he's got to do something. No, I want to sit You're not sitting in my chair. I'm drawing. No, we're not We're not staying here drawing because we've got things to do. I want to draw. No, we've got things to do. So show people what you got. Oh, look at all them. This will be my bridge all by night. So I'll walk on my own. Or if I find any stickers, I'm going to have to find a treasure map. What's that? This is a line for running. Yeah, but what's that? A D for Daryl. A D for Daryl. And this is where you had to go, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we need to do some more, actually, don't we? We need to do some more D for Daryl. Yeah, look at this big phrase. Mm, yeah, come on then. Show us another page. Show us what else you got. I'm not going to run out. Oh, look at all them dinosaurs. <laughs> That's the red dinosaur has fire. Does he? And the green one has fire. I know which one these ones you're a bit, are. You're a bit out. Come in, come. Am I going to run? <sighs> Let's jump back to the dinosaur page. He's checking to make sure it's all in shot and everything. So now, these ones go... I don't think they do. I don't, I don't remember dinosaurs ever making noises like that. Mom. And I learned about them in school. Mom. Right, are you going to do the bye-bye bit now? Not yet. Oh, we've got monsters as well. Well, yeah. <laughs> and now we have Batman. And who's that? Me. And what are you doing? Making bottles do what? You're filling up bottles in the bath? Yeah. And now, these are all the things I need to put us up for tomorrow. Stop. Mrs. She is lovely this, as well. This. No! Daddy, Why? Daddy, Daddy, my ear. Oh, but they're lovely little ears. But you broke my ear. Hmm. If you break my ear, it'll be eaten. Ah! <laughs> right, come on. We've got to say goodbye now because you've been afraid. Of no, I don't. I got some more. These are all the Paul Trump's track. These are one, two, three, four. These were the trucks yesterday. That's all for it. There we go. So, what do you say now? Let me just put this there. Oopsie. Yeah, careful, because I don't want you to get in the mess, right? So, put your thumbs up. Click. No. We love the comment because we love comments. We do love comments. Yeah. Yeah, what else? Click the book. And you'll be subscribed. Right. And then hit the bell subscribe down below. And, and you'll be notified. When I add new, new content. Yay! <laughs> right, see you all later, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'll be back with the evening edition. See How about kiss? Oh, don't forget to kisses. Good evening. Oh, I am shattered. Absolutely shattered. I've just got back from watching the wrestling and I am I'm in so much pain, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it was a fantastic night. Oh my god, it was brilliant. Um This is the stamp of the place where we rent strings and um this are some of the leaflets. Now you might be wondering why I've got these leaflets. <laughs> there was a uh, what's called a death match which is basically there's no disqualification there's no rules count out uh, count outs don't exist falls count anywhere and um at one point the um the uh challenger had these stapled to him that's his blood there can you see it and each one of these has a staple mark where it was stapled to him. <laughs> it was a fucking brilliant night. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, really, really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna. Oh, yeah, look, there's blood on the back of it as well. <laughs> 
yeah i really really enjoyed it it was a fantastic night um yeah look. i'm gonna i think i'm gonna create a little envelope to put this lot in and um yeah <laughs> oh this was something i die cut earlier on this is one of my die cuts i bought really like how that came out that was my feather die cut that i got from aliexpress so, yeah. there was a few places where it didn't cut so well um you know here mostly around the middle i had a bit of trouble getting it to cut off but yeah it's all right it's cool so yeah my throat hurts i've been shouting solidly for about two and a half to three hours my back hurts from standing up i am absolutely fucking exhausted <laughs> it was amazing it was a really really good night i really really enjoyed it i've got a headache oh, i think i'm gonna need painkillers when i go to bed so um yeah what did i do i haven't done much i've also got the stamp on the back of my hand but it tends to blur after a few seconds because i have quite sort of um heavy lines on my hands most of my body but there you go <sighs> so yes i wore makeup so i put makeup on i don't know if i've done the challenges but i will do them if i have i've not had booze because i was driving um i have had more than one can i have i have to eat i've not had chips I haven't crafted. I need to do it about today. My garden's been done. I won't be doing my weights tonight because my back is killing me. So. Yeah, as soon as um, the official guys that were there filming it put it up on the interwebs, I will post a link for you guys so you can see it if you I know Amber might want to see it but I don't suppose the rest of you are interested but I had a good night and I fucking loved it so there we go um oh yeah see I'm in a lot of pain now so I think I'm gonna put it at 312 which is the second one we also took um a friend of ours well, friend of my son's, and I gave him a lift. And he, he, it's, it was his first experience with wrestling. Full stop. He's never watched a WWE match. He's never watched wrestling on TV. He's never seen a live wrestling match. And he only told us this last night. We were like, "Dude, there are a couple of tickets left. Buy a ticket. I will give you a lift in." Because obviously, Alex has been there all day helping set up. I said, "I will give you a lift. You know, come in with me, and we'll watch it." So he was like oh you know are you sure I'm really, yeah 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 you've got you've got to come on you'll really love it and he was absolutely buzzing when we when we left he was like oh my god that was freaking awesome i said yeah i know wasn't it brilliant so yeah he was uh yeah really really pleased that we went okay outcast pro wrestling I am actually really looking forward to going and getting in my bed in a minute. And I've got to upload this. It's like, I haven't done it. I'm not even going to bother picking my pen up because I haven't done anything for the chores. Um, all right, let's see. Ooh. I've done the work week hustle and the scores. I cut up my shirt and it was successful. So it, when I put it on, it was like right up under my neck and I really, really hated it. And we went to see OPW, Outcast Pro Wrestling. Carl's coming over tomorrow to watch. So yeah, so I'm going to create a little pocket tomorrow and probably tuck it in here while I write about, you know, what happened there. Oh dear. What a fab night. <laughs> yeah i really really enjoyed it but god my every i hurt all over from about mid calf upwards 
my head hurts my throat is killing me my back hurts even my knees hurt from standing <sighs> brilliant brilliant that. so while i'm on that high i'm going to end it here i've edited this morning this morning is already i've just got to add this bit to it and upload it and hopefully i'll be in bed before one o'clock it's now 11 48 p.m what do you reckon anyway i will see you all later i hope you've had a pleasant day i hope you have a pleasant rest of your day and i hope you had a pleasant sleep if you're watching this tomorrow or you know i hope it was pleasant whenever you watch this i hope it has been pleasant for you <laughs> and um you know all that so thumbs up don't forget the thumbs up the comments don't forget the comments click the book and you'll be subscribed hit the bell down below and you'll be notified youtube willing when i upload new content thank you so so much for joining me today i really really appreciate it and i love each and every one of you you know i do i will see you in sunday's edition of today